us, no. the man himself. Hello. My most favourite person in the world. You know the way this works. How you come and work? visit me and then I don't let you leave. Until you <laughs> <answer> all my <laughs> gardening how, questions. How, how I thought I was coming here for rock and roll, but actually, no. we're here for gardening. Gardening is rock and roll. <laughs> I, know, I have lots of questions. So this is your garden. You spend a lot of time in here? Uh, yeah, all the time, all the time. So um, weekends, I mean, I'm always in the borders. Whenever anyone comes in through the gardens, they're always like, Joe, where are you? And I'm like, it's a little gnome somewhere tucked in the border with my sprawl. Um, and, and, and is this something that you've come to recently or something that you've always been into? No, I've always liked gardening. I've just grown into it. You know, as the, uh, we came here and we've just built on this garden, put lots of colour into it. There weren't many yeah. flowers and I've just enjoyed so much just painting the garden. I mean, there's a lot of colour in here. You've got a lot of tulips still, still hanging on in there and there's a lot of stuff that's just about to come into oomph. Uh, is, do you have a particular sort of colour theme, anything you really like? Um, I just like the juxtaposition of textures so that's what I've been playing with and that's what I've been learning. I'm, you know, I'm just one of those gardeners who soaks in all the information I can get so I'm really excited to see what comes back this year. Last year in lockdown we didn't have anybody in the garden and it was so, it was so painful not to be able to show it off. So this year, I'm really excited about it. it's just bringing people here and having parties and just going, look, look at what we've achieved. Which is part of the, of, of the joy of gardening, is that it's to share it with other people. And we yeah. haven't had anybody, and now they have. So now, yes. you get to share it with me, because I, I want to see your garden properly. OK, walk this way. So you did a lot of gardening during lockdown. Yeah, a Any lot. particular projects? Um, the main thing was making this border much bigger, and this was your idea because I got you around here. So we made the border much bigger, we mulch it, which is why I'm so excited about what's going to happen this year yeah. in the border, because all the plants look so much healthier and they're just exploding, they're big. They are, I mean they're slow because the spring's been cold, but they're just sort of coming out. I, I like the way that you've woven the tulips through, I think that that's really pretty and there's, there's some really good colour in there that gives, gives an extra bit. So you get full marks from me. Well thank you so very far. much, you're a good teacher. <laughs> <laughs> You're lucky enough to have a stream at the bottom of your yeah. garden. Yeah, little brook. It's beautiful, isn't it? Is it's, that it's, why you bought the house? Yeah, because I've always I love to live near the sea, and yeah. of course I live in the Midlands, so um, this was my this is the closest I could get. So we've got a little stream that's here, which is gorgeous. We've got so many iris in there, which again are going to explode. Yeah. We've got yellow, and we've got blue, um, and we've got I mean, we had frog spawn. It's it's a lovely place because I've got there. yeah my whole family, and so it's a, a lovely nature spot. But I really like the way it sort of comes down and then goes into this sort of wild bit just there. Yeah, um, I planted this, the Antheriscus Ravenswing, because yeah. I like the colour, because it was black, it was very dark, and I thought mm -hmm. it would contrast really beautifully. I didn't realise quite how much it was going to spread. <laughs> but it kind of works here, because it's quite wild. It works really well, it goes nicely into the long grass and into the stream. So, can I pick your brains again? Of course. It's been quite a challenging spring, hasn't it? Because yeah. I've been noticing so many plants have died and I've lost them, and so I've got this big gap here. Yep. So what do I put where and tell me? Well, OK, in, in, in this sort of, here's what I did earlier, sort of, sort of fashion. You've been shopping, which I is have. a good thing to do. Um, uh, and you have got a bit, a bit of a gap there. So I think you've got some Agastache there, which is sort of blue, much beloved by uh, bees and pollinating insects. So I think that, that would work because you've got a pencilman in here yep. from above there. So I think we'll go here for that. And then you need something a little bit taller. How about some Digitalis par Parviflora? Yes, there we go. There's those ones there. Which, that, so, 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 so this is sort of quite um, roundy with a little blue spike in it. This is much more vertical. This is much more like this. So these ones are going to be in here. One, two, three, like that. And then, and you'll be pleased about this, okay. and you just go shopping. Oh, hell. <laughs> because we need I'm... something a little bit taller here. So I think a sort of nice tall thalictrum or something. So then we've got high, a yeah. little bit lower, a little bit lower in there, and that will give a really nice sort of colour zing to this area. OK. Yeah? Yes. So shopping, Joe. Oh. Shopping. Oh, hell. <laughs> OK. <laughs> I would definitely beat you in a space hopper race. <laughs> I think you would. I haven't space hopper for quite a long time, but I'm very pleased you've got space, space hoppers in your garden. Our garden is about playing, it's yeah. about having fun, yeah. So, so what are you looking forward to this year? Chelsea's going to be great because being in September, it's lovely to have something to look forward to because mm -hmm. sometimes you peak when it's May and it'll be really good to see what flowers are, you know, flowering and looking beautiful it in will, September. It'll be different and it'll be yes. quite fun to, for fun to sort of see that. And then you're going to just basically spend the whole of the summer gardening. I think I'm going to spend a lot of the summer DJing, actually. 
<laughs> there are many festivals hopefully all taking place and yeah. I'm going to be there and doing lots of DJ gigs and then yeah in my spare time you'll find me in the borders. Jo thank you very much indeed for showing us your garden and for for being with us and where we can space off her off again. Yes okay, okay. right. See okay. you soon. See ya. <laughs> oh you win. <laughs>